What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop, where today I promised you, actually the other day I promised you in the live stream that I was going to show you a tape video. I was gonna show you how to tape your thumb hole and how you, I can help you make it to where if you have trouble holding onto the ball, I can make you hold onto it longer. If you feel like you're, uh, if you feel like you're hanging onto it too much, I can actually make you get out of it faster by adding tape, not taking tape out. So we're gonna take a look at tape techniques here in a minute to see if we can improve your game. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back guys. So we're gonna take this ball, I'm gonna use red thumb here. Uh, it is an interchangeable thumb from Switch Grip. Uh, and we're going to do, the first thing we're gonna do is we need to figure out exactly where we want the tape to go. Like, so the idea is to get the tape exactly on the flat part here. You don't want it to be on the sides. You don't want it to be on the inside. You want it to be on that flat part as much as possible. So the first thing we need to do is figure out where exactly we want that to be or where that spot is. So all you're gonna do is I want you to take the ball and I want you to put your fingers in the ball and then put your thumb in the ball just like this with no tape in it. I want you to put your thumb in and out. And then as you come out, I want you to leave your thumb like this and leave the point of your thumb there. So now we're just gonna make a little mark right at the tip of that thumb hole, okay? So now we have a nice little mark there. We know that's the center of our thumb. And as our thumb goes in, that's the flat part is gonna be exactly right there, okay? So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna decide, do we wanna get out of the ball faster? Do we wanna get out of the ball you know, slower? Um, if I'm somebody, we're gonna start with the example of I'm somebody who has trouble holding onto the ball. Okay, so tape is good not only for um, taking up space and making thumb holes smaller, but tape is also good for manipulating the feel because uh, you can put pressure on different parts of your thumb based on where you put it to get you out of it faster or slower. So if, if I want to get out of it slower, so I want to stay in it longer because I feel like I'm dropping it, I'm going to line the tape up with that mark that I made, and I'm going to start the tape as close to the top as I can without, um, without it making without it being too far high where it'll roll up if I catch it, okay? So now we're gonna start that piece right at the very top. You can see how close it is to the top up here. So now we're gonna take, and if that's not enough, okay, we wanna put more pressure there. We're not gonna put it right on top of it, okay? It is gonna go on top of it, but it's not gonna be at the exact same height. We're gonna go just maybe a 16th of an inch lower than that. And we still wanna keep it up there, okay? So now, we have that, and so we'll call that good. Let's say that keeps us in the ball nice and good. And then later in the day, we start to swell. Now all of a sudden, that's too much. That feels like it's hanging up a little bit too much. If you're like me, that happens an awful lot. So the move isn't necessarily to take tape out. The move is actually just to move the tape because you wanna keep it tighter on your hand. So we're going to take the tape, and we're gonna remove the pieces. And this is really easy to do, especially if you have this turbo tape, the, the grip strips here. This stuff goes in and out real easy. I can, I can bowl a few games and then take the tape back out and put it back in without any problems. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I got my mark there still. Now you may have to redo that mark if you've been bowling for a little bit, you have to check that out. Uh, what some people actually will do is they'll take a knife and, you know, and they'll, they'll put a nice little dent there and they'll, you know, they'll hit it and then they'll put a dent in their thumb hole so they know it's there permanently. Um, but now we wanna get out of it faster because we're starting to hang up. So now, instead of the tape being here like it was, we're gonna drop it down and we're gonna get it about a quarter to almost a half an inch below. So now you can see how much lower that tape is. And when you try and you put your thumb in, you can notice the pressure goes from here. It's no longer up here. Now it's all the way down here. So now you're putting pressure here and it lets you allows you to relax your hand a little bit more and you can get out of the ball much faster. So, and then as you put tape in, you obviously you just wanna keep tearing it down. If you wanna get out of it even faster, you put another piece in. So I'll take this second piece out that I just had in there. And I'm gonna put this one even lower so we can see where that one is, now I want to go even lower, go about a quarter of an inch lower. You can see how much lower that one is now, and you start tapering it like that. So when you go practice, play around with this a little bit. All right, there you go. So now when you go practice and play around with that, you can definitely tell the difference from when you put the tape lower to when you put the tape higher. Now I know there's gonna be some people out there who say, oh, I hate tape, I can't stand the feel of tape. 
Well, I would change. I would try and do everything you can to change your mind because once you realize how much you can change your ball roll and do things differently with where you put the tape in, you're going to fall back in love with tape and you're going to want tape in every single ball. And not only that, uh, it's nice to be able to keep the same texture. Whereas some of the, sometimes the thumb slugs can get super slick uh, or they can get start to get tacky based from sweat and goo and stuff getting in there. When you're replacing tape every you know three to six games, you can. Uh, then make sure you have a fresh feel every single time you go play, every time you go bull. So uh, there's just so many benefits to having an accessory like tape in your ball. Uh, you know, not only just regular tape, but even just this tape on the back of the thumb. You know, you can use that for taking up space, which is what I do. I don't need protection on the back. I don't really ever tear on the back side of my thumb. I just use it so that way I have uh, a little bit of extra space taken up back there. And I like the texture of it. I like the feel of it on the back of the thumb. It gives me a little bit more grab. It lets me hold on to it just a little bit more. So when I press my thumb out, like I showed you in the other video about how to squeeze, when I press out, I get a little extra texture on that back side of my thumb and it holds on to it a little bit longer. So I would just go check it out. You know, go over to bowlerx.com, order some today, see if you can't try to uh, play around with it a little bit and see how it helps you. And if it doesn't help you, then don't do it. You know, I mean, if it, I'm not telling you you have to do it. I'm just trying to give you options of ways to improve your feel, improve your fit just a little bit. Uh, if you don't have the ability to go and plug and redrill a bunch of bowling balls, you know, you can always manipulate it with tape a little bit. So that's all I got for you today. Hope this helps a little bit. Uh, and if it does, make sure to comment below, like, like, the, uh, like the video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.